Yeah. There we are, just six minutes now till half time. Still Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 0. Villa on the attack, taken away from him. Cool. Played up field, only intercepted again by Aston Villa. And here's Silla. Looks for Vyman on this right hand side. Vyman with a first time cross and headed out of play by John Terry. And a corner kick to Aston Villa. Five minutes until half time. Once again, a chance from a set piece for Villa. They've got better defending on this season. Can they score one? That's the target man, Benteke. It is Benteke rising. It's headed. Handball calls. Nothing given by the referee. Some of those players seem adamant it touched the hand of a Chelsea player. Here's Benteke now, goes down the left hand side, well worked by Azpilicueta. And Benteke was all over the right back and concedes a free kick. Here it is, he's headed down in the shoulder of Cahill, so not the hand or the arm, come off the shoulder. His arm was out. And understand the appeals. In a way, if the referee hadn't seen it perfectly. Would have understood why they gave it. But obviously saw it come off the shoulder slash chest area of Cahill. Mm. Oh, four minutes now for Chelsea for a Chelsea to finally equalise before the half time whistle. Villa had Chelsea had that spell of pressure, but Villa have done well since then. Vyman's been brought down, and John Terry just calls for red card. It's only going to be yellow. It wasn't one on one. It's Sillery brought down. Brilliant work by the midfielder to win it off Ramirez, and was going through. Cynically brought down by John Terry. And there were a couple players as well. Cole and Cahill were coming back to cover for Gary for um, John Terry. Could have been deemed as going through one on one. He definitely was last man, but there were players coming back. Surely put him off, pulling out the red card. That free kick is dealt with by Aspilicueta. Out for a thrown on this near side to Aston Villa. Still has definitely been a real major factor for Aston Villa both on the defensive and offensive end. Set up that goal for Benteke. Will be credited with the assist. And here he is again. Crosses in lovely to Benteke who controls it brilliantly. He's it out suddenly high to the back post where Delph was rising. Delph will pick it up again on the left hand side. Crossing again, headed away, high boot given against Gabby of Monlahort. Just don't get why a high boot is class when a player's head is, well, knee height. You know, there's nothing Gabby of Monlahort can do if a player is jumping in, he's doing a diving header at knee height, and you're going to kick the ball. I know it's dangerous, I know he could get kicked in the head, but. At the same time, it's the risk you're taking when you dive in like that with a header at knee height. You know, what's Gabby Monhor supposed to do? Dive on the floor and try and head it as well. He's got to try and go for it with his feet. So it can't be classed as a high boot because it's not a high boot. He's not, not leading with his stud, so it's not an offence in that way. If that was the case, then he'd be kicking out practically any shot. If you can't put your boots up above knee height to kick the ball. And if this is the case, why doesn't every defender in the world, when a shot's about to come in, dive onto his knees, go to head it, and then you're just going to instantly win a free kick because of high boot. And Ramirez is going to be sent off here, and that's a red card. It's a foul on Gabby Bonlahor. 
and the referee who's been handing out yellow cards for fun since he booked Baker early on had to take example since then and it is a high boot from Marie, Marie, Ramirez and this time it is a high boot isn't the fact that Gabby Bondahor has put his head at knee height he's normal high and Ramirez just catches him on the arm and it just gets a lot worse for Chelsea if we go into the half time break Really the first yellow card was harsh but because he booked Baker a few minutes earlier the referee gave himself no choice but to hand the same punishment to R Ramirez in some cases that probably wouldn't have been a yellow card in some referees eyes due to how easily he's handed out yellow cards this, this afternoon he's had to send him off that sometimes referees after handing out a red card for two yellow cards usually become a bit more lenient in the second half I saw it in the uh, Sunderland game a few weeks ago handing out yellow cards for fun in the first half and in the second half rarely dished a single one out because of worrying about sending off if you're going to set the uh, benchmark early on in the game you've got to keep up with that you know, credit to the referee, he's set his benchmark and he's become kept insistent, consistent there. You know, is there a bit of lack of inconsistency here? Because John Terry's on the yellow card, he's just caught Vyman in the face, I think, with his boot. You know, he just pushed him actually, I didn't actually see it first time, so I was wondering if he caught him in the face, but it's with his arm actually. But once again, I'll point out these players on yellow cards have to be careful now, really careful because the benchmark's been set by the referee and he'll be happy now. He's got to stick to that. Oh, a harsh ball had to be dealt with by Pelicek and he's actually taken on Venteke outside of his area there. Ends up having to clear it for a throw in. Frustration has grown this first half for Chelsea. A goal down, a man down. And we'll be going into half time now. In two minutes we're added on we're into that second minute and there goes the half time whistle. And the half time it's Aston Villa one. Chelsea nil. Gab um sorry, Christian Benteke with a goal. And Ramirez has also seen red near the end of the first half for a second buckle of offence. Seen a lot of yellow cards from the referee. Seen a typical But he has kept consistent throughout the half and giving out yellow cards and ultimately that has cost Ramirez his, chance, his place on the pitch and I'll be back for the second half in just 15 minutes.